yippee ki -yay, motherfuckers! Today we are talking about Die Hard on the Year of Logging Dangerously, Day 131. That's right, Die Hard, the quintessential 1980s action flick. It is the one flick that I always look to when I look for just unadulterated, pure action. And... A little bit of character development as well comes in there. It's it's a movie that is it, it could easily be dismissed as one of the brainless action flicks of the of the world, but it is not. No, no, not at all. It has got some definite development of character in there. When you look at the character of John McClane, played by my favorite wooden actor Bruce Willis, and his journey from a journey of realization that maybe he's not exactly live, the the best of husbands and he needs to change. But he does, he expresses this need by being a destructive psychopath to be killing a bunch of, you know, criminals. Ah, uh, yes. So, for those of you who have been living under a rock since 1988 and have never seen Die Hard, I'll do a little bit of explaining. The two star standout stars of this movie, despite anybody else that uh, is in it, are going to be Bruce Willis playing Detective John McClane of the New York Police Department, or Officer John McClane. I'm not sure if he's a detective, but he's an officer in this movie. Um, and... Alan Rickman playing Hans Gruber, the um, man masquerading as a terrorist to, to steal a shitload of money. Um, and it's Christmas Eve in L.A. at the Nakatomi Plaza, which is a big, obnoxious 30-story 30, 30 building that uh, Bruce Willis, uh, or sorry, that uh, John McClane's ex-wife, or current wife, sorry, not ex-wife, wife, is uh, working at in this building. She works in this building, and they're separated because she took a better job at another place and she's taken her maiden name on it. So they're not divorced, but they're separated, definitely. And he's coming to, to do a little reconciliation and whatnot and, you know, to, to see his family. And he goes, he's invited to this party and terrorists take over the party and they got guns and everything goes crazy from there. And Bruce Willis proceeds for the rest of the movie to raffle stomp the living crap out of bad guys. All while barefoot and bleeding all over the place. Um, this is brought to, brought to us by uh, oh, it's it's uh, brought to us by uh, John McTiernan, who brought us two other very very iconic movies, uh, Predator and The Hunt for Red October. The man directed some pretty damn good action movies. Um, and, yeah, it's pretty much the, the standout stars I've, I've already talked about, but the one that I love is Reginald Bell Johnson, who you may remember from the show Family Matters, starring... What's his fucking name? Jaleel White, uh, as well as St Steve Urkel. You know, you know, the most annoying man of the 1990s. Um... And he, he played a cop in Family Matters, too. But he plays a beat cop in this that, that is kind of the, the man on the outside of the building who talks to McClane. He's kind of his partner throughout the thing, keeping him keeping him in the loop of what the cops are doing and, and uh, keeping his morale up. And uh, what I like to think, what I like to think is that in an alternate world, after all of this crap goes down, Al, the cop, has to go home and deal with Urkel. I like to think that. It's just this funny thing that my brain does with this movie. But it is a, an action-packed, ass-kicking festival of explosions, gunfights, knife-throwing, and craziness. All set around the holidays. It's one of the best Christmas movies of all time, really. It is. Um, forget Miracle on 34th Street. You know, forget... Um, anything. Forget A Christmas Carol. Um, for me... Two of the movies that will always stand out for Christmas are Die Hard and Scrooged. And because I don't have a copy of Scrooged and don't feel like watching it for in the middle of May, I'm not going to be reviewing this one. So this is my favorite Christmas movie of the of all time, Die Hard. Um, if you haven't seen it, see it if you like explosions and blood and gore and, and coked up negotiators who are absolutely stupid. Um, see it. The other thing that gets me, by the way, is it's confusing because the guy who plays the uh, the, the boss, Takagi, doesn't actually have a billing on IMDb. Go figure. He's on Rotten Tomatoes, but he's not on IMDb. What's with that? Anyway, I have, as usual, been the Zero Killer. If you have questions, comments, concerns, death threats, you know where to put them. Put them in the comments section below, and I will talk to you